we're going to start our second lesson creating chordal movement with fourth chords. If you remember in our last lesson, we were talking about how to create chordal movement between the C minor 7th chord to an F minor 7th chord. What we're trying to do is not play on the chord. We're trying to break away from playing on our chord jazz voicing. We were playing the minor 3rd, the 5th, the 13th, and here is the ninth. Two scales that we're using the solo against the C minor 7 chord. The C blue scale, the C Dorian scale, we want to break away from our chord jazz voicing. We're sliding up and down the C Dorian scale using force. Now you have that chordal movement that you're generating that gives you a really powerful sound. Okay, we're going to focus on playing fourth chords that are outside of uh, the C Dorian scale. D flat, E flat, E, G flat, a flat, B flat, and B. Here's a D flat four chord. It's not in the C Dorian scale. E flat, the E flat four chord is not in the C Dorian scale. Here's an E four chord, a G flat four chord, A flat four chord, B flat four chord. So what we're going to work on is shifting out of the C Dorian scale, leaving the key in the left hand as you solo in your right hand to give you an outside sound. So you're going to be leaving the key, coming back into the key, leaving the key, coming back into the key. So we're in the key. Now I'm going to leave the key. the outside fourth chords are D flat, E flat, E, G flat, A flat, B flat, and B. Those are the Now we have to go to the F minor chord. Here's the F Dorian that we're playing fourth chords over. Okay. That's being completely diatonic, staying within the key. So now the, the fourth chords that are completely outside of the F Dorian, the G flat four chord, the A flat four chord, the A four chord, the B four chord, the D flat four chord, the E flat four chord, and the E four chord. I'm in the key. We're out of the key. Now I'm going to leave the key. 